21st at the Globe. It is the fourth free for all. 40 competitors going head to head to head. The winner will find themselves at a title match. You never know who's coming down the ramp next. That's been so great about the free for all. You never know what happens and who's going to win. Riyadi has cleared the table. The Globe Theater downtown Los Angeles. 1 p.m. is the kickoff. Get your tickets at the showdownlive.com. There he is, prime time. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? Looking good, Playboy. I'm excited. Like, let's go. My number one draft pick this year is your year. This season is all about you, man. I'm ready for it. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? What, what, what do you mean, yeah? You, you seem like something's off a little bit. Are you okay? I don't know, man. Something just doesn't feel right. I something doesn't feel right. What, what, what's going on? You, you, uh, you want to change the nickname? You, you just don't no. like the, you don't like the costume? You want a new costume? Like, what, what, what do you I want mean, to do? I don't know, man. It just feels off. Okay, then screw it. You know what? I know you were kind of spectacular, all that stuff. Leave it behind. Take off the jacket. Take off the, the glasses. Let's just do Paul Oyama. You think that'll help? Let's do it. New year, new you. 2020. Let's go. Guess it won't hurt. You feeling it? Yeah. Let's go. Leave it. Come on. New year, new you. 2020, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah, drop it, throw it right there. Let's get out of here. Done. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. It is the teams division. I'm Christian Harloff. Mark, baby carrots, Ellis right over there. The teams division heats up once again. You got corruption, the experiment mm -hmm. going up against Swag's final exam. And these are all characters that have been in this division for a bit. That's the thing you got to realize about this matchup. These teams, never heard of these team names before, but the characters they're in, we know a lot about. There's a lot of history. I look at Final Exam, Christian, yeah. and I see a sterling reputation with Lon Harris, both in individual matches and in the team exercise. And then you have somebody who's quickly becoming an all-time name, Paul Oyama. They're teamed up together. They are teamed up together. And the thing is, with Prime Time, he, how is he going to come back from that devastating loss against Ben Bateman at the Spectacular. It's a tough Christmas present to unwrap. What's his confidence like? I spoke to him afterwards. He was disheveled. He was rattled. Tears? Was, uh, not tears, but okay. he was rattled, you know, and, and it's understandable. It was a big match for his career, for his young career. The kid's 22 years old. Is he only a, 22? He's had oh, a meteoric disgusting. rise in the movie Trivia Schmodown. How's he going to return? How's he, what, what's he going to be like? And then you have Lon Harris, who's also shifted. I've talked to, to Winston Marshall. This is not the same Lon Harris. There's something going on with him. We don't oh, know what yet. But, new Lon but, Harris? But there's something going on with Lon Harris. He has ch just changed his whole kind of philosophy. Did he get a new pipe? I don't know. But then you look at the experiment. Shannon Barney has quickly become one of the biggest stars in the league yep. when it comes to managing. And you have to be when you're managing corruption. And she shocked the world not only when she chose Mark uh, Hoyk. And Mark Hoyk just basically stood up in front of that whole audience. And the audience got scared collectively and shut up. Horrified everyone. He did. And he, not since the ghost of Gus has the comedy store seen such horrific activity. <laughs> it's, it's like a, what this guy is is an intimidating force. But the other thing that she did is she split up the wild berries. Yeah. Oh. It was. It was. It, oh, the, it, yeah. the crowd still clearly. I'm still hurt That's, about it. It was. It was her choice to do it because right beforehand, Swag drafted Makuga, thinking, "Okay, I'm going to put the wild berries back together." She said no, and she turned to me. She goes, "Watch this," and she drafted Dewberry, and put these two together. And I don't know what that's going to be like. The the big personality of Dewberry against this anomaly in Mark Hoyk. I, I don't know what we're going to see in the... It, it is certainly an experiment. You know, Christian, I'm not as smart as somebody named the professor, Lon Harris, but I will tell you, with an experiment, I know that there's controls and there's variables. Seems like you got two pretty big variables in this particular experiment. How are they going to catch up to the final exam? Well, we're going to find out a little bit about these teams. I'm excited just hearing about it, like, what is going on? Let's see what's new. And evil begets evil. So I call to corruption, Mark Hoik. Let's get something straight. You manage Mark Edward Hoik the way that you manage a flesh-eating virus. Corruption stands for doing what needs to be done, and I am going to leave a wrath of scorched earth upon everybody here. You 
look really nervous. Don't be, don't man, be, don't. Hell yeah, man, that was terrifying. You know, the vibe, the vibe's a little different this time around. I have a feeling I'm gonna need a little more champagne for this one. Elliot Dewberry. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. He's taking Dewberry. No. Just split up. The wild berries officially, they're gone. We're upset right now, man. You know, Shannon broke up the wild berries. Like, Dewberry should be with us. And instead, you know, wild he's. Woo! The Schmodown needs you, okay? I drafted you, I've got an- Those ruffian? I mean, screw that, man. I don't care anymore, I dropped out. I traversed a lot of the California woods to find lawn. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I was out there for a while, and you know black people don't do mountain lions. I was not very happy about- Stop it. I take the man that will be taking his belt back, Mr. Paul Oyama. Wow. Paul Oyama, I talked to him, you, you saw the scene, man. My boy is a changed man, like a grave hope once said. Allow me to reintroduce this man, all right? I'm talking about the once and future world champion of the movie trivia, Schmodown. I'm talking about Mr. Paul Oyama. What kind of creature is Gizmo in Gremlins? Paul, Gremlin. And you're winner! It's been kind of a tough month, and I was hoping that this would be sort of the, the thing I could hang my hat on, and I just feel bad about certain things, but. Yeah. Spectacular was a little rough. This is a new season and it's new opportunities and it's still prime time. It's just a new clock. Paolo Yama, you are a former champion, so you know all about how fame is fleeting and that is why they gave Caesar a laurel wreath. So you've had your lesson in humility, but you had it in front of thousands of loving fans. You did not learn your humility the way I did with your producer not returning your phone calls, with your membership in AFTRA having to lapse because you couldn't afford the dues. I'd just like to say something to the kids watching out there. Is, is that my camera right over there? Kids, uh, don't try. It's like, don't follow your dreams because you probably won't achieve them anyway. And uh, just give up, right? A little less fun, but that's okay. Because that was terrifying. Fun is the enemy. We'll, we'll, we'll work with that, okay? Hey, you're one of us now. I, one of us. Get used to it. I, so much, so much. Uh, he's he's not the professor. He's he's a delinquent. I mean, what what is that? He went from the head of the class to the guy sitting on the chair all the way in the back. That's a complete like 180 for Lon Harris. They're both of them. I mean, and then you see a Paul Oyama, no sunglasses. He he's that seems like someone who is more yeah. tuned in with himself than than trying to be cocky. He's been and doing yoga. I, think. I don't know what's going on. And then maybe, but maybe it's Winston. What Winston we know has been talking to Lon and getting love because Lon shut him himself up in a cabin somewhere we didn't know where he was and then Winston was able to bring him back so maybe there's something with Winston that he's able to get these characters working together and then you see the other side of that Shannon Barney is an evil woman I mean when you when you look when you look at what she has done and Tell you, us know, how you really feel well, you look at what you look at Dewberry and Dewberry is not comfortable in that situation yeah it's he rough. just is not he comfortable. misses his buddy and she's smiling and she is happy about it and she knows this makes him uncomfortable and she is pushing him into this so yes I think that she's doing this on purpose and I sure when they come walking out she's gonna be doing the same thing and Mark boy he scares me Mark. Hey, look he's a scary individual a lot of questions about this match will the final exam team up or will they be smoking in the boys room and with the experiment is mark hoyt going to put a curse on this studio what about the tail of the tape mark what are the strengths well they are very good at a lot of things with the experiment you look at an elliot dewberry he knows his action adventure films with mark hoyt he knows his biopics and then you move over to final exam lon harris we know he used to know classics very well paul oyama he went with classics at the spectacular didn't work out but oyama also very good at new releases all right, so with that, I ask you if you're ready. I, the answer is no. No. The answer is no, I am not. Well, we'll ask the crowd if they're ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. You did the ready and the time there. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Introducing first. Representing corruption. Led to the ring by their manager, the queen of corruption, Shannon Barney, making their team debut. 
Hill, Mark Edward Hoy, Elliot Dewberry, The Experiment. Janet Barney with her devilish crown. There's Chance Ellison. There's Mike Kalinowski. Look at Dewberry, so out of place. Dewberry is so out of place. Look Everybody went with the darker shade, and then Dewberry just looks like the guy lost in the wrong office. Dewberry doesn't know what to do. He's he got in the wrong elevator. He's used to doing keg stands and being drunk before matches. He's used to does, dancing. This seems like he's in a boarding school. Mark Hoyk, not the dancer that Makuga is. Yeah. Elliot, are you okay? Blink twice if you can hear us. I'm good. <laughs> okay. He's fine. Everything right. is fine, Christian. Okay. All right. No, he's well trained, if nothing else. Mark Hoy, and look at corruption in general, just staring us down, Mark. That's they all scare me. Yeah, I, I think I'm not gonna make eye contact. And their opponents representing Swag. Led to the ring by their manager, Winston Marshall. Making their Schmodown team debut. He is the delinquent. Lon Harris and the former movie trivia schmodown champion of the world, primetime Paul Oyama, final exam. No sunglasses. He's still got the, uh, he's still doing the time, so. No sunglasses. No sunglasses. No very casual. There's Winston. And what is this? Oh my god, look at the delinquent. Lon Harris, that is not a professor, that is in fact a delinquent. He looks like he stumbled off a train in the 1920s. Yeah, he looks like he looks like a homo, Christian. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Wow. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody have a dollar to give Lon. And then Kalinowski just caught a whiff of uh, booze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, this? all right. So, what uh, cast of characters it is. So, it's dumb. No, no, you just... Winston one match. trying to talk him, trying to one match. coach him. Uh, you should gonna... probably just go home now. Who are you? Wow. Telling, You'll learn. Telling okay. the delinquent to go home. I don't think he's uh, into the learning thing anymore. Okay. So What's I don't know going on? Uh, these guys were just like, come answer some questions. And I was like, I don't know. Effort sounds lame, but <laughs> I bet, you know, it's like, I, I feel like maybe we could beat these guys without trying. So that'd be oh, cool. Wow. Oh, wow. Very odd. I feel if Drunk Brett's oh my God, version what is, of Drunk Brett came alive, it would be right there. Christian, this is the oddest match I've ever called in this young season. I'm looking at two nice, upstanding young gentlemen, a I wizard know. and the eighth dwarf from Snow White. <laughs> all right. Who are all those people? I ask, prime time Paul Oyama. How are you, sir? I haven't seen you in a bit. I'm good, yeah. Uh, all right, look at Say your clocks, baby. All yeah. right. No all sunglasses. Right. No, okay, it's, well, it's a different look, Oyama. This is still a movie trivia showdown match. There are still so rules to be baby. had. Lon, are you paying attention? Not really. <laughs> Young man, I'm about to read the rules for round number one, and all you right. will listen. All right. In round number one, eight questions are going to be asked to the field, although this is a team match. Round number one is an individual exercise of movie trivia showdown and know-how. Each question is worth a point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as the question is asked, each competitor, please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard. You have about 15 seconds to do so. Once we address you by name, please reveal what you wrote to the camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt at an answer into the microphone. Each team has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. Each team also has one challenge to be used at any point throughout the duration of the match. Young man, stop air guitaring. Uh, what? <laughs> this is, are you chewing gum? No, it's not gum. Which, which I got my eye on him. I know. I, I got my eye on I don't, him. I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I liked the professor. Oh, no, no, what are we talking about? Headphones out. Headphones out. Let's go. All right. All right. So that's true. You can't be getting uh, Anza. Can't. This is not the Houston Astros, you know. All right. So There oh, it is. Oh, there oh, it is. All right. Here we go. Yankee fan. They never cheated. Let's ask, let's ask final exam. Are you ready? Once more into the reach. Let's do this. We ask the experiment. Are you ready? Yeah. Affirmative. Then let's get ready to schmoot out! All right. Action adventure. Action adventure, 15 seconds. Here we go. What comedian plays Detective Lee Butters in Lethal Weapon 4, who is dating the daughter of Danny Glover's character? Uh, can I ask you to rank your favorite Lethal Weapon films in order? Uh, one, two, four, and three. I thought you go two first. I thought you were a big two, two guy. I love two. Yeah. One said it all. I like Five. four a lot. Yeah, I like four, four a lot. Three, two, 
one. Paul? Chris Rock? Yes. Dewberry? Chris Rock. Yes. Lon? Yeah, it's pretty obviously Chris Rock. And Mark? <laughs> Chris Rock. One, uh, two, 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 two. All right. We have so, a lot of questions about Chris Rock. He's a great comic, yeah. and he deserves all the accolades. We move on to movie quotes is oh, the next no. category. And your question, what 80s film is known for the line, nobody puts baby in a corner? I got to be honest. I was expecting the audience to groan on that one. Uh, no groan here. I no. think that they're in kind of some sort of spell that Hoyk has cast yeah, over I everyone. Yeah, I think so. Five. I think you and I are operating under that as well. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. Dewberry. I didn't. Didn't have it. Lon. Uh, dirty Dancing. Yes. Mark. Dirty Dancing. And Paul. Dirty Dancing. All right. So only Dewberry missed. So four, three, four, three. Final exam goes up. Dramas is your next category. Which famous 1957 film from director Sidney Lumet follows a jury as they deliberate on the case of a young man accused of murder? You ever murder a guy? No, but Mark Hoyk, I've seen guys. <laughs> you know what? I actually appreciate how he enunciates his answers. Oh, yeah. So I'll take more competitors like Hoyk. Me I'm too. shocked to hear myself say that. Five, four, three, two, one. Lon? It's a 12 Angry Men. It is. Mark Hoyk. 12 Angry Men. See yes. how he does that? I love it, That's actually. Great. I love it. Paul? But you wouldn't really kill him. 12 Angry Men. <laughs> yes. 12 Angry Men. There we go. Yeah. All okay. right. So now we're at 6-5. Final exam, holding their lead. I happen to agree with you very much. I love the way Mark Hoyk answers questions. I love the way he enunciates. Uh, your next category is in the world of crime films. Something Lon Harris is probably familiar with. You can't prove anything. <laughs> your question. Brad Pitt plays an Irish gypsy or pikey in what 2000 crime film? Juan looks like a guy who steals candy from the neighborhood Woolworths. Yeah, well, I don't think he looks like a guy. I think he is the guy. <laughs> He's the actual Five, person. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Mark? Snatch. Yes, sir. Paul? He just wants a caravan. Snatch. Yes, and? <laughs> you like dags? Snatch. Uh, yes. And yeah, snatch. Everybody got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullet right. Tony right here. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's not funny, young man. <laughs> Next question. From Fantasy Sci-Fi, who directed the 2005 film Serenity? Oh, God, what I wouldn't give for some of that right now. Yeah, I know. Just, I got, I just know. uh, yeah. geez. I'm with you. Hawaii. I mean, Oyama and Dewberry look pretty serene. Five, four. The other side of the ledger. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Three, two, one. And we start with uh, Paul Oyama. Joss Whedon. Yes. Uh, Dewberry? Joss Whedon. Yes. Mark. Yes, Joss Whedon. And Mark? Joss Whedon. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Switch it up on us. Yeah. Now. All right, next question. Your next category is in the world of comedies. <laughs> I'll take it. It's funny. Your question, what 2015 holiday comedy stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen, and Anthony Mackie? My goodness. I like, I like comedies, you know that? Uh, I sent you that screenshot of uh, Hot Shots the other day. I loved it. Thank Holy you for doing that. Holy crap. Watch it again, Christian. It's the best. Four. It's glorious. Three, two, one. We start with Elliot Dewberry. The night before? Yes, sir. Lon? Yeah, the night before. Uh, Mark? The night before. And Paul? It's a great movie, The Night Before. It is a really funny movie. You're right. Okay, so right now, everybody, only, only Dewberry's missed one. The mm -hmm. rest of the team, uh, excuse me, the rest of the players playing with a perfect round here. All right, two more questions remain. Christian, we go to the scary world of horror slash thriller, something that we are currently experiencing. <laughs> Which 2018 horror film stars Tony Collette, Alex Wolf? and Gabriel Byrne. You love comedies, not so much the horror movies. Not they see, still you give you nightmares. That. You keep saying that's not truth. You shake in your sleep. Oh, not you true. You wet the bed after you see a Freddy Krueger film. Love those movies. Four, three. He's a funny guy. Two, one. And we start with Lon Harris. Hereditary. Yes, Mark Hoyk. Hereditary. Yes, Paul. Oscar for Tony, hereditary. Yes, <laughs> hereditary. hereditary. Okay, yeah. 14, 13. Tony Collette. All right. Sterling performance. So where we are at this moment is that 
both Paul Oyama, Lon Harris, Mark Hoyt toying with a perfect first round. If they all hit this, they all have perfect rounds. Uh, your last category is in the world of animated movies. Movies drawn by hand or on a computer. Your question, who voices the title character in the 2018 film The Grinch? Been a lot of iterations of that over the years. Yeah. Could trip someone up trying sure. to get a perfect game. Here's where the pressure is the most condensed. And five, four, making diamonds. Three, two, one. We start with Mark Hoyk. Benedict Cumberbatch. Perfect round for Hoyk. All right, Paul. Benedict Cumberbatch. Perfect round for Paul. Dewberry didn't uh, have it. And Lon? I don't know how to pronounce this. Benedict Dick and Cumberbatch. Paul also had it. So final exam finds himself in a perfect round, but so does Mark Hoyt. So here's how it works. Uh, all you guys will have to write it on. Dewberry, you will not be participating in this particular question here, but we'll have both final exam and, the exp and uh, Mark Hoyt. Please write your answer down the same way you would for the previous. And here is your bonus question. This Academy Award-winning actress played Lady Tremaine, the evil stepmother in Disney's live-action adaptation of Cinderella. Not a lot of uh, good stepmothers out there in the Disney universe. Not a lot of the times. You know, um, there's great stepmothers in real life. Disney, yeah, not, not so it. much. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Start with Paul. Kate Blanchett. Yes, perfect round. Uh, Lon. It's Kate Blanchett. Perfect. And Mark Hoyt. Justice for Emma Thompson. No, he didn't have it. Wow. Big right. miss there because final exam had perfect rounds mm -hmm. and find themselves now with a four-point lead. Massive, massive uh, developments here in round one. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it was really uh, tit for tat. Stop laughing yeah. at that, one. And when you look at it now, it's a four-point advantage. And all of a sudden, wow. that's a big-time point differential as we enter into round at number two. Round number two is the wheel round. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a special wheel. It's a sponsored wheel by Mr. Nathan Ovendale. Nathan. Let him hear it. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan, for your patronage. Make sure everybody out there checks out the movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. Select which tier is right for you. Maybe in an upcoming match, I will say your name like I just did for Mr. Nathan Ovendale. His sponsored slices are Audrey Hepburn nice. and Dwayne LaRock Johnson movies. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You're going to see a total of 12 wedges on there. You have opponents and spinners choice as long as 10 movie Trivia, Schmodown categories. Each category contains six questions therein, as this is the team format. Once a team settles on a category, each question's worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is stealing in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. Final exam, you find yourselves with a four-point advantage. Paul, upstanding young man, Juan is there too. Would you like to spin or defer to your opponent? All right, so All the right. experiment will go first. Who's going to spin it? Will it be Dewberry or Mark oh. Hoyt? They're making right. Dewberry do it. A Dewberry. Seems to be, it seems to be a, a phrase known around the world now. They're making Dewberry They're do making it. making the mountain spin. Is that still his nickname, what? or is that just what I call him? I think he's still a, he's still. All right, yeah. thank you. <laughs> look at him. He's like, he's like almost, clean almost cut now. What is that? Look, between, between the spell that Shannon can put on yeah. someone and between the spell that Hoyt can put on someone, Elliot Dewberry, both the right and the left side of his brain, fully occupied. But he look, he still had a really good first round. Round right and away. round it goes. Hey, but, who's that handsome fellow oh. eating popcorn? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, Opponent's choice and the spell did not work not for the experiment. Time. Yeah, look at Mark Hoyt burning a hole through Dewberry right now. All right, so uh, Paul is going to step up to the wheel and select which category they're going to force the experiment to answer six questions from. Interesting choice here, Christian. All right, we're, we're going to see. They're going with young adult adaptations. All right, that's that's interesting. YA adaptations, a new category this year. Let's see how it goes. All right, YA. All right, so we will give these to Experiment here. We will have six questions. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready to go? I guess. All right. <laughs> Just do it. What is the subtitle of the second Twilight film? Man, a groan ripples through the audience. Five. Multiple choice. A, Eclipse. B, New Moon. C, Breaking Dawn. D, Catching Fire. 
New Moon. For one point. All right. That's correct. All right. All right. Question number two. Dude, you two. guys watch Twilight movies? Which actress is the lead in the Mortal Instruments City of Bones? Multiple choice, please. A, Lily James. B, Kaya Scuderia. C, Cara Delevingne. D, Lily Collins. Lily James. It's incorrect. Choices are Very A. close. It's Lily Collins. Let's wait for me, please. A, <laughs> A Lily James. B, Kaya Scaladero. C, Cara Delevingne. D, Lily Collins. Oh, yeah, they were close, but it's Lily Collins. That is correct. Lily Collins for one point. They got Lily right. Screw your rules, rules man. Guess one point or no? Yeah. All right, question three. Which actor plays teenager Augustus Waters in The Fault in Our Stars? Ansel Elgort. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's a big get. Yeah, they needed that. Three questions remain. The experiment fully in control of their own destiny. They could take the lead if they navigate these last three questions correctly. Yep. Which actor plays Gail Hawthorne in the Hunger Games franchise? Multiple choice, please. A, Wes Bentley. B, Josh Hutchinson. C, Liam Hemsworth. D, Sam Claflin. Sam Claflin. Incorrect. The choices for you guys, A, Wes Bentley. B, Josh Hutchinson. C, Liam's Hem Liam Hemsworth. D, Sam Claflin. Liam Hemsworth. Yes, one more point for the final exam. Yeah. And that's the way you don't want it to go. Yep. You no. want to at least be able to multiple choice your way through this round. It was yep. opponent's choice. They got saddled with it. Two questions remain for the experiment. Which 2005 YA adaptation stars Blake Lively, America Ferrara, Amber Tamblin, and Alexis Bedell? The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Two points. Great movie. Last Great one. movie. Last one. Here we go. What pop music superstar plays a character named Rosemary in 2014's The Giver? Can give them the lead. Right. Multiple choice, please. Or tie it. A, Taylor Swift. B, Rihanna. C, Selena Gomez. D, Carrie Underwood. Selena Gomez. Is incorrect for a one point steal. A, Taylor Swift. B, Rihanna. C, Selena Gomez. D, Carrie Underwood. It's uh, Miss Americana, Taylor Swift. One more point. So is. this is massive. This what are those, is massive singers? because final exam finds himself with a two-point lead now. If they hit something that they like yeah, and they, they do the well, they could knock out their opponents here if they get the right category. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the Go spin it, is about to be in. The former champion, Paul Oyama, will be spinning. Oh, Oyama getting that right arm warmed up. Yeah. Wait, do we win? Can we go? There we go. Here we go. Oyama looks confident, though. That, that yeah. swagger's back a little I just, bit. I got stuff like, after this, bro. Training. I got stuff after yeah, this. Look, I really appreciate the efforts of Winston Marshall to keep Lon Harris engaged. It's so hard with the youth of today to yeah. keep them focused on something. Oh, looks like it's going to hit. Oh, 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 that's a huge play. That's what the experiment needed. But now, Christian, the experiment has to go up there yep. and select a wedge that they think is going to give final exam problems. I'm yes. not sure what this, wedge that is. is Who big. is that? No. <laughs> this is she like work here? <laughs> he used to be he a tenured me. professor. He got me. He used to be a tenured <laughs> esteemed I thought, professor. I thought trivia was supposed to be in a bar. Like, no. Figure it out, guys. Well. All, All right, right cool, the experiment, yeah, we're yeah. going to need you to place your wheel of choice wedge for the opponent's choice. Final exam, we'll have to answer six questions from the world of... What are they going to do? Oh, oh. The 90s. Oh, I thought they were going to go movie quotes. I thought quotes. they were going movie quotes, but I they go to the 90s, and those. we'll see... What fruit the 90s bear for final exam? Well, that's going to be interesting because that might come back to bite them. That's right. The 90s, the decade where Apollo Yama was born and Lon Harris sold weed in Seattle. Yeah. Yo, Ellis, we'll meet up after this by my car. All right. All right. All right.
<laughs> not going anywhere with you, Ron. All right, here we go. In the world of the 90s, your first of six questions. Question number one. What 1992 comedy has multiple endings, including the Scooby-Doo ending? It's uh, Wayne's World. Party on Wayne and party on Garth. Right. Two points. So now final exam finds himself up 23-19. They're starting to climb towards that knockout range. Your next question in the world of 90s. What 1999 comedy stars Steve Martin and Eddie Murphy and depicts the making of a fictional film called Chubby Rain? It's a Bowfinger. It is Bowfinger for two more points. Here we go. What best picture winning film had the characters Ned Logan, W.W. Beauchamp, Delilah Fitzgerald and Skinny Dubois. Unforgiven. Two more points. Two more points. <laughs> wow. All right, Christian, it is now an eight point advantage. Final exam. Remember, steals are still in play, yeah. so the experiment does have some options, but I don't see the final exam missing. Maybe this next question in the world of the 90s. In the 1990 movie, Presumed Innocent, who plays lawyer Alejandro Sandy Stern? Maybe they finally got stumped on this one, Mark. Five. We've got a multiple choice. I can provide that. Is it A, Andy Garcia, B, Raul Julia, C, Edward James Almos, or D, Esau Morales? Uh, Andy Garcia. That is incorrect. I'm going to give you your options once again for multiple choice and a point. Is it A, Andy Garcia, B, Raul Julia, C, Edward James Almos, or D, Esau Morales? Raul Julia. That's a big steal point. for the experiment. That was, big. that was big. So now question five comes into play for final All exam. Right. They missed their first question. They are indeed human. They are indeed mortal. And your question, your penultimate one in the world of the 90s, in Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, Dr. Evil and Scott exchange emotional words on national television on whose talk show? We'll do multiple choice. Multiple choice? We'll say multiple choice. All right. We go to A, Dr. Phil, B, Mari, C, Oprah, or D, Jerry Springer. Yeah, I think it's Jerry Springer. You think correct. That's okay. a point. All right. So we're going into the third round regardless here. Right. So now we get to their sixth and final question. But the question is, will they be up by eight points still or more we'll they're going to be again. forcing the hand of the experiment but maybe a steal could tighten the gap in the world of the 90s which 1994 thriller based on a michael crichton novel stars michael douglas and demi moore it's a disclosure you are not Hot. old enough to see that young man but yes two points all right so 30 to 20. final exam does not get the knockout however they put themselves in range to win via technical knockout because now we get to the third round the experiment has to hit all three just to tie the game that is a tall order for the experiment in round number three each team is going to give us a series of numbers we need three numbers per team these numbers can range from one to 20 each number corresponds to a different corner of the movie trivia schmodown galaxy the first question is worth two points next one three the last one five points because this is a team format, once we tell you what the category for the two-point question is, the team must decide which individual member is going to answer it. You may not rely on your teammate's knowledge for the two-pointer or the three-pointer, which will be answered by the other team member. So the experiment, losing by 10 to final exam. So final exam, we're going to get your three numbers first from 1 to 20. What feels lucky, gentlemen? Let's go 4, 19, and 7. 4, 19, and 7. And now we get the experiment. 1, 2, and three. One, two, and three. All right, interesting. Yeah. All right, one, two, my locker and combo, bro. three. We start. All right, so here, here, here's how it works, guys. If you don't hit all three of these, then final exam will win via TKO. We start with category one, famous actors and actresses who'd like to go. I'll take it. All right, Elliot. The Mountain. All right. Johnny Depp made his acting debut in which Wes Craven horror classic? Nightmare on Elm Street? That is correct. Two points. He wasn't all that confident, but no, he got he through it. it. All right, so now, he, now, Mark, Hoyk, now Mark, Mark Hoyk has to hit yeah. his, which is action-adventure. 
What 2012 martial arts action film was made in Indonesia? It was directed by Gareth Evans. The Raid. Yes, that is correct. All right. They're doing as well as they possibly can. All right, so now, if they hit it, it goes back to final exam. However, if they miss, final exam still wins via TKO. Five-point question, what's the category? Spy. Ooh. Spy movies. Here we go. Which 2000s spy film has the following actors in its cast? Christopher Plummer, Mark Strong, Amanda Peet, William Hurt, and Chris Cooper. Final exam. Revving their engine for They're the waiting win. Waiting for the TKL, hoping. And five. Four. Repeat the question, please. Second one. Which 2000 spy film has the following actors in its cast? Christopher Plummer, Mark Strong, Amanda Peet, William Hurt, and Chris Cooper. And that is 2000s. 2000s. In the decade, in of, the the decade, the decade of 2000s. Breach. And your winners by way of technical knockout, prime time, Paul Oyama, the delinquent, Claude Harris, final exam. Answer, Siriana. Siriana. Siriana was the answer there. Claude, my name is Shannon. Hey, Shannon, I'm live. And Roy certainly didn't buy the same way that Oyama and Harris did. And now, look, Winston Marshall taking Oh, uh, well, that's just it's not. We, we, we don't encourage it's that for it's underage it's kids. It's Winston encouraging the delinquent with booze. Paul Oyama, very upstanding citizen, all of a sudden the movie trivia showdown down and proving their worth on the field of movie trivia competition. The experiment did very well, I thought, though, until that third round where they had to get everything correct. That's a tough pull yeah. for a five-point question. 25 points, nothing to sneeze at. No, not at all. I mean, it was it was definitely uh, – you put up anyone against Paul Oyama and Lon Harris. Dewberry scored five or six points in the first round. He did well. They did had well. two perfect rounds. Lon Harris has proven, once again, he hasn't missed a step. But this time, I don't know, this might – and nothing against uh, JTE or his brother. He might have found the best partner. I think that Winston drafted very, very well here. And, and I know I was talking to Jen uh, Sturger about this in general, but too, like she was impressed with uh, Winston Marshall's draft and putting them together as a team. So to hear about that strategy, it certainly is paying off. So let, let's talk to Jen right now, who's with. Final exam, Lon Harris, Paul Oyama, and Winston Marshall with swag. Thanks so much, Christian. Oh, you've got to be, oh, did you just dab on me? Yeah, not on you, on, on, on the whole league. I tried to tell y'all, I tried to tell, I told y'all, okay? I came up there with that cane, okay, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, let me go ahead and get Paul Oyama real quick. Let me go get Lon Harris real quick. I'm gonna put the young and the old together and we gonna make a super team. Okay, oh, we gonna we gonna make a super team. We gonna make we gonna make uh, uh, LeBron James with Dwayne Wade. Okay, we gonna make LeBron James with Anthony Davis. Okay, we gonna make LeBron James with pretty much anybody. Okay, you know what I'm saying? We out here winning. Paul, Paul drip drip. Paul, I have to. Say, <laughs> I've never felt whiter than just then. Oh my god. <laughs> Paul, I have to tell you, I was watching you play out there today. <laughs> Calm down. I was watching you play out there today, and honestly, you look like a different person. You look re-energized. You look, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that you don't have the leather jacket anymore. You don't have the sunglasses. Um, but do you feel like your play out there today kind of gave you a little bit of redemption and a fresh start after Spectacular last year? Yeah, I think so. I think in a weird way, Lon's energy kind of helped me out. It kind of calmed me down a little bit and, and eased me up. And I think let me... That was the weed. <laughs> I didn't, I'm not going to incriminate anybody on this telecast. But um, no, I just it felt good to be out there. And uh, I think we played pretty well. And I'm excited for whatever comes next for us, really. Lon, delinquent. I'm not sure what to call you now. Um, it, <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this is aggressive. Um... <laughs> But it was, it was cool seeing the two of you click so easily out there. I mean, how did you feel being out there and playing with Paul? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, tried to get all the answers right, which really isn't even that hard. I'm not sure what... <laughs> I'm not sure why they were having so much trouble with it, honestly. It's cool. You know? Bro, you know. Right, this bro? is a very yeah. relaxed Paul, uh, like Paul and Lon. I don't know what... I mean, it's a very... Um, 
It's like an after school special out here right now. I mean, more or less, I, I think the one thing that really made a lot of sense is you had Lon, who was super, they were both really serious, and, but for different reasons. So we just kind of brought that together. And they also have gaps that they fill each other. You know what I'm saying? So 90s worked out perfectly. He knew half, back half of the 90s, he knew the first half of the 90s. It worked out perfectly. So uh, yeah, drip, drip, baby, let's go. I think Lon's gaps were there for a completely different reason than Paul's. Yes, yes. That's why, if you notice, I took the chips with me. I needed him to focus and not worry about the munchies. But yes, yes, yes. So. Chips, though? Let's get some chips. Um, yes, celebrate with some. We'll celebrate with some chips, guys. Congratulations on your victory today, and congratulations to Swag. How do you do that again? I'll hurt myself if I try that. So, <laughs> back to you guys. All right, well, obviously, uh, Swag is feeling good, Mark. I mean, they've got, I think Winston is exactly right. Winston is exactly right. He put together a super team because you've seen super teams in the past, whether it was Clark Wolf and Rachel Cushing, whether it was Dan Merle and John Rocha, or uh, the Patriots themselves, uh, Little Evil and Snyder. You got another one here. You got yeah. another one with Paul Yama and Lon Harris, and they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be a team to beat. They're a great team individually, collectively. They showed their medal here today, and Winston Marshall cast as Michelle Pfeiffer from Dangerous Minds, having to corral that talent, reluctant though it may be, in the case of the delinquent. Lon Harris. Yeah, well, that's the question, too. It's like, you know, what they both do is they bring a lot of clout to their matches because uh, Lon Harris has been in the tournament finals before. Paul Oyama has been the singles champion. So they can really rise up the ranks and shake anyone in their boots, obviously. But what I would say about the experiment, I would not label this as a failed no. experiment. No, it's no, no, a no. loss, but they did put up a lot of points. Hoyk and Dewberry, they know their stuff, and we're about to hear how they feel about the match. Right now, with Corruption, Shannon Barney, Mark Hoyk, and Ellie Dewberry, Jen Sturger, they're all yours. Shannon, even though you guys got the L today, I don't feel like this is a, an absolute loss for you guys. I feel like they took a lot away from this match and they learned a lot, especially how to play with one another. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, it's an experiment. And we threw these guys together to see what they can do. And 25 points in their debut match, I'm certainly not upset about it. Are you guys? You shouldn't be upset. Are you upset? The measure of a man is when he can admit to making bad decisions. Now, I will freely own up to the fact that I guessed badly in the spy category and that I gambled wrongly on the wheel. Just as Mr. Dingleberry here, <laughs> do drop whatever, you gave them the blank check on the wheel with which to decimate us and blew what could have been a perfect first round for the both of us. You guys, you guys were, were on the same team. You, you did amazing, sweetie. You were great. I'm very proud of you. Mark, just, just, a, li just a little, a little, a little. It's all about owning your mistakes and learning from them. You look like you're being held at gunpoint. Well, there's, there's no guns. But you, that's the vibe, yeah. <laughs> Shannon, how do we regroup from this? How do we move forward? I, I mean, are we going to keep them together or are we going to try to, you know, it is an experiment. Are we going to just keep kind of moving the pieces together until we find ones that click? <laughs> Are you guys not having fun watching this? I mean, come on, seriously. Why would I break this up? Are you insane? And by the way, while all these other teams are out here prematurely ejaculating all over the show, corruption is biding their time. It's a long season and we've got plenty of it, so I'm not worried. Well, parents just had to explain a lot to their kids. Because evil is patient. Back to you guys. Smart move, Jen. Uh, Lon Harris is giggling somewhere yeah. after that last comment. Yeah. So I, I, Dewberry is terrified, and I know that Dewberry is, is searching, and I know people are wondering, where is Makuga? Where is Makuga? Makuga was not able to be here, obviously. He's eating history. And you thought he is, and you thought maybe he would be here to help, you know, to, to, to get Dewberry in spirits, but he's not here. He wasn't able to be here, and Dewberry, i got to be honest, he looks lost. He looks <laughs> lost without Makuga. 
He looks like a, a frightened child yeah. under the spell of two very evil parents. Yeah, well, where is that? Remember the Dewberry that we used to see? He would come out, he'd be yelling and screaming and confident. He's high five and he's, he's drinking beers. He's having a good time. He's a dude. He looked like a Ke shell of a man. No, he looked like Kevin Bacon and Footloose when they said, You can't dance here, son. Oh, that's what it seems he's, like. He's going to be dancing in a barn yeah. by himself <laughs> later on today. But he, was, he lost his game of tractor chicken here, Christian. I know. It, will he still? Go to prom. Well, either way, final exam, Paul Oyama and Lon Harris sitting pretty here. 1-0, one knockout. And all these new teams that are coming in, we're looking for some just explosive matches down the line because who knows who could, they could play next. They could play the Pride. They could play Deep 13. They could play one of these, these teams that are out there, and it could be a short road for some of these teams to get to the champions. We don't know. It's really exciting. Season 7. We're up and you, know, you look at that scoreboard, final exam. If they were pressed and they got all of their round three questions right, would have dropped 40 points. Yeah, I mean, that's, here it's, 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 it's so interesting. Very yeah. big win for final exam. The experiment, the results yet to be seen. If, when, that's a hypothesis for Christian Harloff. I'm Mark Ellis, and you can check out the movie Trivia Schmodown live. The SchmodownLive.com is website. To get your tickets, check out all the rankings. We've got a lot of good stuff, all sorts of goodies for you on there, as well as our Patreon, the movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. That's right. Go to the Patreon. Join up all so many new patrons this year. Thank you so much. Look forward to hopefully brand new people come on over, seeing what we're doing. And like Mark Welcome. said, go to the SchmodownLive.com. A lot of great events coming up. We'll see you next time. Hi, oh, hey. baby. What's How up? are you? How are you feeling? I, I'm all right. I mean, honestly, a little bit weird, you know? Weird. Going, going from the wild berries to corruption, like, oh, pretty God, different, different vibe there. I used to have a lot of fun. Like, we'd chug beers, sometimes win a match. Mm -hmm. And now, like, I feel like Mark's kind of bullying me a little bit out there. Elliot. Publicly. Hey. He's really scary. Sir. Yeah. You got to snap out of that, baby. Did you see how well you performed? I, when I said I was proud of you, I meant it, okay? This whole, like, evil Mark and Shannon and corruption thing, it's not weird if you don't make it weird. I guess you're right. I don't know. It's like, I still talk to Josh sometimes. Like, I sent him a text this morning and, like... Yeah, what did he say? He hasn't gotten back to me. He's working on that show where he, he eats poison and tries not to die and, like... It's... I find it really interesting that he decided not to get back to you because I feel like you and I have been in pretty close contact. Okay. It's just super weird that, um... Josh isn't here for you anymore. You no, know, it's long distance right now. Sure. There's, of you know, we're not in the same team anymore, but like, we're still bros. Like, he'll, he'll text me back. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. He wouldn't just ghost me like that. Of course not. It's not what bros do. That's not what I would do. Corruption's a family. You're part of that family now. Okay? Okay. Hey. Okay. We got your back. Don't worry All about right. it. All right. Well, good talk. Good, good talk. That woman terrifies me. <laughs>